Lena Phoenix here. I haven't posted in a while, and uh, who really gives a shit? <laughs> uh, the reason being is um, I've, I've taken a real step back from the internet because I really don't want it to become my reality. And there seems to be a lot of warning signs out there that the internet's totally intertwined with our lives. And there's a lot of negativity surrounding that very concept with all this AI stuff and all that. So I've just been, you know, just staying away, I guess. And um, another thing I'd like to add to, so in 2012, I was a talk show host on free, at freedomslips.com. I had my own show called Time to Shine, all right, so as Helena Phoenix. And I successfully did that for, for six years, for six consecutive years. And what's so beautiful about it is that, so 2012, I mean, that's how far it got, back it goes, right, that uh, a lot of people I've noticed have, I'm not saying copied us, because I certainly have jumped off the, the shoulder of giants with the work that I, I did back then, right? But um, I've noticed that there's so many more people, you know, discussing and talking about the stuff we used to talk about in the radio. In fact, we're all way ahead of our time, which is really, really brilliant. And I'm, I'm happy to see that so many new radio stations have started and podcasts and everything about the stuff that we used to discuss in, in 2012 upwards. So I'm, I'm really quite proud of that and I do feel like I started some sort of ripple effect just like many, many of us did. But that's what um, helping change the world is all about. Like I know I can't do it by myself but uh, there was a, a, a lot of us on, on board, you know, pointing our, our, our weapons, so to speak, our, our own way in the direction of, of, of the enemy and ultimately the enemy is really yourself not knowing who you are so w once you get onto that journey where you start learning who you are what your programs are um you know there's hmm, I'll, I'll get more into that but anyway there's so much great information out on the internet i've got nothing to complain about with the internet um there's so much negativity surrounding ai and it, it just gets really, really negative, and it gets really negative with people who say that they're awake. Now, if you don't understand anything about the occult or um, hidden knowledge, like I, I came up with this uh, little um, saying, right? And the saying goes like this, religion was the frying pan, and no religion is the fire. Do you get what that means? That means if we're walking around with no religion and no knowledge, you're in the fire. Religion, at the very least, was able to... It, I'm not saying it was good. Remember, I, I refer to it as the frying pan. But it, it it was a guide for people. You can't just sort of rip away a program and then just throw people into the wild. Actually, you can because that's part of our evolution now. And a lot of people aren't going to make it if you don't arm yourself with knowledge and do your due diligence. Not just understand about the world and the true nature of the world because quite frankly they've lied to us about a lot about the true nature of the world so it, to me it's really about going within now um and it it kind of, so so, so the, there's that but I, i'm just really proud to say it's amazing how many podcasts are here now that are so congruent with and synonymous with the shows that i've done and things i used to talk about and thinking why did did a lot of us cause this ripple effect, and I truly believe that we did. And I, I'm really proud of that. I'm, I'm proud because I'm not doing it now. I'm proud that it's carried on. And when people complain about their work being stolen, like someone's, st I said that, someone else, it's not about that. It's about sharing information. And if someone grabbed on to something I said and went and started a show, their own radio show because they were inspired by what I said or someone else said that's brilliant that's actually what it's all about you know just it yeah it's got nothing to do with unless someone can, totally rips me off it's a whole other thing but when it comes to sharing actual knowledge for instance then no I've got no problem with people taking what I've discovered and and running with it you know then because just become no one's discovered anything new I might discover, it's like I might buy a new car, but it's second hand. It's new to me, but it's a second hand car. You get, you get my point, right? So, um, 
yeah, I feel like my work's done. Like I did my tour of duty, duty educating and using the internet of uh, such a positive thing, you know, um, being a, a, a talk show host and on, on such a brilliant radio station, which is freedomslips.com, Revolution Radio, freedomslips.com, which I understand they're still, you know, they're still running, going strong after all these years and they were pioneering, you know, having 70 hosts um, um, I think I was one of the few Aussie hosts on there. Um, so many hosts uh, uh, discussing things years ago that really came to pass, like so many things about politics and and you know, just many, many things came to pass, which is really, really excellent. But And I'm not talking about, um, you know, positive thinking. You've got to be, I'm, I'm talking more... Uh, you know, I my 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 field now where I'm really all I care about now is the work that Greg Braden, um, Dr. Joe Dispenser, um, there's Greg Braden, and Dr. Joe, and Bruce Lipton. If if you if you really want to know the true nature of your of, of, of who you are, these gentlemen are the closest thing I, I have I have seen. They they tell you, they explain to you your conscious mind, your subconscious mind, it's all quite simple. And uh, it's it's best to do it with children to program their subconscious mind and probably do it consciously. Uh, it's harder with uh, adults because we we've got to deprogram a lot of the the subconscious programming from when we're ch children. But it can be done. It can totally be done. I mean, I come from a my my you know, without getting too much into it. Like I I literally became a different person. And do you know how much you have to drop your, your ego and your bullshit ego just to tell yourself, I oh, know there's something really wrong with how I think and my choices and um, and, and, and the way I, I live life. And uh, once, once I figured out it was me, that was the problem and the things that I'm attracting because of the how my psychology and then I, you know, started making some changes. And these three gentlemen, Bruce Lipton, Dr. Joe Dispenser, and Greg Braden, highly recommend. Uh, they are the holy trinity as far as I'm concerned with this kind of knowledge. You know, it really it strengthens you up. It's also it's it's science, it's it's wisdom, it's spirituality, it's 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 the light. And if we can teach learn ourselves and teach our children, that that's where I'm coming from. And um I, I want to live a fruitful, thriving life. I don't want to be in that victim state of mind of the things that have bad things that have happened to me, although they have um, funny thing is uh, now that I, I don't really attract that stuff to my my being and my um, auric field anymore. It just doesn't come in my auric field. And if it does, I flick it like a fly because that's how much I've learned. And isn't that beautiful? Like I wouldn't harm anybody. But it's amazing when we're uh, in situations where possibly being uh, abused and then you walk away and you're a victim. Yeah, well, technically you are a victim, but we do attract these things and the more in power you are as to how you know how these things work and how you are it it's um really quite phenomenal and i'm looking forward to because i'm just i'm living life you know there's more to come i'm looking forward to the the the, the magic that the 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 beautiful manifestations that come from this type of knowledge and it, things really aren't that bad, but I'm at my level of learning compared to other people. So when I see people's in, people in their ignorance, then I have to just like take a deep breath and go, okay, that's them, that's their ignorance. And the internet's really good at doing that, triggering you to be pissed off at how stupid people are and things like that. And that's another reason why I step back a little bit because I feel like I'm more of an observer now as opposed to just you know feeling like I have to defend or jump in or you know, I just don't give a shit I just don't care I know that sounds really bad but I don't I just care about uh the good shit the stuff that I personally think is is worth caring about and um also uh conserving my energy and uh, doing things that that I love so i hope everyone stays very inspired and if we keep passing on that torch of um inspiration inspiration is probably my favorite word knowledge is great knowledge is everything but knowledge is really really important especially self-knowledge, but inspiration, staying inspired because that's what we're here to do. Don't let anyone convince you that the internet 
and AI is going to strip you of that. It's just bullshit that you're going to tell yourself more programming and more uh, executed behavior to uh, validate your programming. So uh, mm, it's just a few thoughts of mine. I'm going to head back and keep doing the work that I do in my <laughs> 3D life, you know, just making things happen just making things happen and, and working hard and, and uh, you know, I, I'm definitely not uh, perfect, as you can probably tell. But, uh, and I don't think there's any destination of perfection. It's just, I don't know, just having an, a, 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 a nice time with being authentic, being around authentic people and just being authentic and having a good time and, that's really where I I, um, I, I I hope to reside in that space. <laughs> and we'll see what else we can do. We'll see what else we can do. And again, very, very proud of the work at the radio station. Um, I had the, the show was called Time to Shine. So it was really, really good. Uh, so many other hosts. It was, it was just brilliant. It was a lot of laughter, a lot of knowledge. Um, and it, it, it was just, it was really brilliant. And to see so many radio stations and podcasts just spring out uh, from from that is phenomenal. Like we, we it was it's like a a bit of a mind war that we won that we got other people to to continue the work, and that's just brilliant. I'm really really proud of that. Would I do radio again? I uh, don't know. I don't think there's any need for me actually. I think it's. I was doing it because it was like there was a spot for me. I, it, it, someone had to do it. But I see other people are doing it now. So maybe, I mean, that was a pretty lame answer. I'm sure there's plenty of room for, for me to to do that. Uh, but I'm, I'm kind of busy with trying to build an empire in this 3D over here. Uh, um, you know, if, if I knew I could be of some service, not not just entertainment, that my work was of some sort of value. Yeah, I, yeah maybe. Well, it has been. Uh, but anyway, I don't really feel like I'm, I'm needed at the moment. I, I usually jump in when I feel like I'm needed, but there seems to be people covering good, really good stuff. So my, my work is done-ish. Anyway, I'm Helena Phoenix and... Um, you know, I know I don't have a lot of subscribers and shit and I don't really care to. Um, so anyone who watches this and gets me and, and stuff, I wish you the very best and thanks for seeing me and uh, I'll see you too. All right, all the best.